I'm going to show you how to install drippers and sprayers into your garden. Here I have my 13mm drip tube, 90mm poly pipe, some 4mm flexi tube, multi grips, sprayers, drippers, some elbows, some saddle clips, pipe cutters and a hammer. Sprayers and drippers are installed as an above ground option to watering your garden. They are also very water wise and very water efficient. I've already measured and cut my poly pipe. I'm now going to pin this down to the ground and demonstrate how sprayers are used. Sprayers are good to be used in hot houses and veggie patches, but not so effective in using in areas such as shrubbery. There are many different types of sprayers you can use in your garden. So for some, some flexi tube and the riser will already be attached. Others, you'll need to attach the flexi tube to them. And this one already has a stake with it. So with this sprinkler here, it's simply attached to some flexi tube and also a four mil adapter. All we need to do is use our hole punch, punch a hole in our poly pipe and put our four mil adapter in. And all I need to do now is simply put my stake in the ground as to where I'd like my spray to spray. Now I'll be showing you how to install a sprinkler that isn't on a stake. So what you do need to do with this is you do need to attach it to a metal riser and able to support it. Now, just as we did before, this has a four mil adapter on it. So again, you would use your punch and you put this in your hole. All that's left to do now is place my metal riser in the correct positioning for my sprayer to spray correctly. Now for this particular riser here, you do need to install your own flexi tube. This allows for flexibility as to how far you'd like your sprayer from your plants. With this particular sprayer, I do get my four mil adapter, which you'll simply need to snap off and put onto my flexi tube. Here I've got my flexi tube. All you need to do is cut however much you need. So now that I've cut my flexi tube, all I need to do now is attach one end to my sprinkler adapter and the other end I'll need to place into my four mil adapter. Once again, I'm using my hole punch to pre-punch my hole into my pipeline. Now all that's left to do is simply attach my adapter straight into my pipeline. There we are, and that's how you would install sprayers. So now I'm going to install my drip line system into my garden. For this instance, I'm going to be installing individual drippers towards my shrubs, and later I'll be running a drip line along my hedges. The first thing I need to do is roll out my poly pipe and measure to cut. Sometimes it is easier to pre-roll and cut your poly tube on your lawn as it can be difficult to work with. Once you've done this, you can peg your poly pipe into your garden and you can now position each dripper for each individual plant. Okay, so now that I've laid my poly pipe in my garden and I've pinned it down with my irrigation pins, I'm now gonna individually punch a hole behind each of my plants. Make sure the holes in your pipe are coming out the side and facing the plant. I can now start cutting my flexi tube, which is what I'm gonna run my drippers off. Just remember to cut your flexi tube to the right size by simply holding one end up to your poly pipe and the other end up to your plant. Just cut a piece of flexi tube for each hole that you've made in your pipeline. All I'm gonna do now is attach my double end adapter, which one end is gonna fit into my flexi tube and the other into my pipeline. I'm gonna put my dripper on and this end is gonna be at the base of your plant. All I need to do now is simply plug it into the hole. Make sure that when you're attaching your drippers that you attach them to the side, not at the top. So now that I've installed my poly tube with my drippers already attached to the side of it, I can now install my drip line. A drip line's perfect because it already has perforated holes. So there's no need to mess around with any drippers or attaching anything else to it. This is perfect for using along hedges so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my drip line along this garden here. I've already pre-cut and measured my drip line ready for my garden. So now that I've pinned down my pipe of drip line, I can now join it to my other bit of drip line. To do this, I'm going to be using a 30mm elbow and also some 30mm locking clamps. It's a good idea to dip the ends of your pipe into some hot water just to make it a bit more flexible and pliable to be able to put your fittings in correctly. My remaining joins in my drip line are going to be the same, so just repeat that process. I'm also going to run the rest of my drip line around the back row of my hedges. Now that I've laid my drip line along my back row of hedges, this will be the end of my line. So now I can put in my end cap. To put your end cap in, all you need to do is simply push it into your line. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult, 
So I do recommend, if you're able to, to use a hammer to hammer it in. So to get water to run through my drip line system, I'm going to simply attach it to my poly pipe dripper system, which I laid earlier. So to do this, I'm going to need a 19 to 13 mil reducer and also a 19 and 13 mil locking clamp. So now I'm just going to attach my 13 mil pipe to my 13 mil end. So for my system, I'm just going to simply attach it to my normal garden tap. In order to do this, I'm going to need a 19 mil snap-on connector. All we need to do now is test our system. I've checked my system, everything's in good working order. And that's how you install a sprayer and dripper irrigation system.